everybody, and welcome to the Lotus Fire Show. My name is Fire Smatter and we are live today with a little bit of a short stream, if maybe possibly, just because I gotta go to work today, but we started a little early because that's how you make up for that. So, we're at the end of chapter three, I think. Um, we made a whole library, that was pretty cool. We made a workout room and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna hop into Victoryville, uh, possibly, and do our quests, which I don't remember what they are because we didn't accept it yet. Pretty cool, okay. I am supposed to be live, though Stream Elements has not reacted yet, and okay, well, too bad. Maxi, what you got for me? Watch it, Felicia. Barbella's really busting her gut to get her head around them research records, but it'll be a while before she's done. Barbella ain't a born and bred inventor, so she's got her work cut out figuring out how to build that ultimate weapon. Uh, by the way, Cecile told me you met up with Galileo's ghost. Never knew you told you dead. Uh, if it's true, and I got a favor to ask you. Could you get him to spill the beans about how we're supposed to build that ultimate weapon of his? Chances are, he ain't gonna tell you just like that, so I uh, thought of a way he might be able to twist his arm. Galileo used to go around with this funny looking instrument called a lie of Iyer. It was some kind of family heirloom, apparently. Only problem is, the monsters nicked, him up, uh, nicked it off him and broke it to bits. He was really cut up about it. That's why I thought it'd be a good idea to put that art back together and give it back. I've heard rumors of monsters it what was left of the lion and icy eagle over in Galenorm. All we gotta do is fix, find it, fix it, give it to Galileo, and tell him it's a present from Barbella. Uh, what's that? Why would he tell him it's from Barbella when it's actually from us? Uh, that's the icing on the cake. Nothing's gonna cheer Galileo up more than a gift from his favorite assistant. Maybe it'll even be enough to untangle that twisted mind of his. Actually, sorry, my bad. He's the deep voice one. What do you reckon, Felicia? Monsters have got a bunch of igloos where they kept all the loot they've nicked. I'd stop by having a shufty inside of some of them if I was you. Get yourself through that teleport on green teleport and try and track down what's left of that eye of eye. As soon as you fixed it, take it over to Galileo and get them to spill the beans. You'll need a string to repair the liar. It was the only bit Barbella managed to save when the monsters attacked and she's kept with it ever since. Fantastic. Alright, so we go into the green teleportal in our triple teleportal teleportarium. Tele teleport where is my teleportarium actually? It's over here. Very nice. Very nice, yes. Let's get myself an Aurora Blade out and into the green portal we go! Yippee! I should have brought myself alive. Well, the best time to bring myself an ally was uh, five seconds ago. The second best time is now. So, what kind of allies shall we get ourselves? Hello, my friends. Glutamus, is that you? Barely. Very nice. Come with me, my friend. We're going to get ourselves a Freund. And then we... Oh, uh, Glutamus. That's Glutamus, my bad. I thought I was Maxi. It's not Glutamus, so I don't have to worry about his deep voice. No, sorry. It's not Maxi, so I don't have to worry about his deep voice. Hey, Maxi. Speaking of which... You tempted to come on by, my friend? No, no. Bollocks. Alright. Well, I don't think anybody else is going to come with. <clears throat> on we go okay I didn't think we was gonna be I gotta stop when they're not talking I didn't think we were gonna come up and climb on this I thought we was done with this area almost there was barely anything but it looks like it's not oh is that wheat? it looks like there's some new food of course I set out exactly at night time I am going to scream myself to sleep I swear on my mom Sugar cane? Now, isn't that exciting? I can make ice cream! Hot fruit. More sugar canes. Now, I know my friends are stuck, aren't they? Bleeding out. Oh, and they're fighting something, too. Out of me way! Come on then, lads! Is that gold? Golden Mithra. Very nice. Hey, how you doing? Case doesn't fit on the control. Thing. What do you mean? Oh, that's nothing new. Uh, hey, lads. They don't usually fit on the controller things. Ah, uh, 
we got some nuggets of gold. Just got to dig right straight down. Fantastic. Okay. My sledgehammer did take a nasty beating from that. Well, that's because they're silly. They don't come. They don't know how to climb. Why are you trying to put on the con controller thing? I thought... I thought the child loves own controller you could do. That's am I? Lie of Iyer, do not remove. Oh. I'd very much like to remove, thank you. If you don't mind, my friend, I'm uh, making myself a little pap here. Felicia opens the treasure chest. What luck, the broken liar! <coughs> Beautiful. Is that it? We need more. Uh, where is it gonna be? <laughs> I, they mentioned an igloo, and I was like, it's a little too close to. To what an igloo might look like if we made it out of blocks, don't you think? It's big brain, uh, big brain time, eh? What does the liar vire count as? I don't even see it. There we go. Ah, oh, bloody hell, I need silver. That's no fun. Where am I gonna get that stuff? I don't have silver? I think I'll have him already. Alright. Before you kill my friends, but we'll <coughs> Hammers will be. Be gone. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get silver here. An actual one, yeah. Uh, the giant? I'll oh, pass. He's not here, he's in the other zone. Uh, but yeah, that'd be terrifying. Um. Where is this quest marker trying to send me? Oh no. Okay, we got a little entrance here. I don't know if they got silver. Uh, that doesn't look like silver. Looks like gold, but I don't want g g g g gold. I want s s s s silver, like so. Thank you, game, for offering victory. Oh, we actually never picked up silver in series. So we yeah, got all the good medals here. Holy cacao! They got mithril. They got silver. They got gold. Plethora. That's gonna break, but it didn't break before I thought it would. <clears throat> Not a lot of silver, thank goodness we got enough. Sure thing, brother. Oh, I see. That gold is just not there. Uh, you can keep making animal noises, I suppose. Okay. Not much to judge. Right, then that's gonna be enough. What? Ah, uh, you think you're sneaky? For you, you are. Um. Nothing else left to do here. Tunnel is in the water and exited up by the portal. What? The green metal is not rare. We've seen more more mithril than we've seen <laughs> silver at this point across the entire playthrough. I think I've made everything I can with the mithril, though, to be fair. Uh, so the liar, I guess it would be the welding station, because everything seems to be done with the welding station. There it is, a liar of iron. I 
Do I have a magic armor? I feel like I've got a magic armor. Recipe, no. Equipment. Yeah, we got magic armor, magic shield, magic sword. I got a ton of the magic sword, actually. I should probably make a second one. Just in case my first one breaks. I got so many, like, magic ingots. Oh, I've got less than I thought. Uh, still, pretty good. Uh, okay. Now we've got to get to where Fafween was. Um, which was in the... It's across the red teleportal. Yeah, yeah it, it started showing up a lot in the second area. Uh, when I was uh, exploring that. And then I just found like a ton of it. And I turned it all into ingots. Because what else are you going to do with metal? Uh, I had actually not seen a mine of it. I guess maybe I found a special spot. Let me explore enough. I don't want to fight. Not here to pick fights, I'm here to climb a tower. Leave me alone. Water. I am putting on the orbs. I wonder what happens if I put the orbs down inside of a building in my place. It doesn't give me any points, but I wonder if maybe it gives me like... Because I realize you get a teleportarium if you put the teleporters inside of a room. Which is cool. It gives you a free 100 points per teleportal. So what happens if I put the orbs inside my building? <coughs> Leave me alone. I'm on the wrong place. Oh, I might be in the wrong place. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place, ain't I? No, oh, blimmin' no. Am I? See, there's more mithril there. Leave me alone. Silver here. No, that's iron. Yeah, that's iron. Hey. What map? <laughs> what map are you talking about? It doesn't tell me. Wh well, the map doesn't tell me which um which teleportal to use. To be fair, I that's gonna no. Okay. Yeah, John. What's going on Wednesday, friend? How you doing? <clears throat> we are indeed getting two episodes. Uh, I heard of that. I'm very excited to just absolutely use up all my evening watching that because... Ha <laughs> ha! Just the triple dots in response. Uh, there it is. No, I don't think that's it, actually. Oh, well. Look at all this ice I could get if I wanted. I should probably eat some food. I have a cactus steak. Thank you. And then we could make some secrem. Heh <laughs> Are you excited? To two days, eh? Wednesday. Alright. Thanks for coming in, John. <laughs> we'll get to talk about it on Wednesday evening. <laughs> Alright, three water. Four water. Five water. Six water. Okay, I am going to lose my mind. What is happening? Where is the stupid... Oh, that's not where I thought I was going, actually. Interesting. Well, that's his grave. Fair enough. You again. Tell me, Felicia, why must be we humans be such stubborn creatures? If we could accept our lowly fates rather than struggling against them, we could live our lives without sadness. 
that pain. If only I could express these feelings in song, the weight that lies heavily upon my heart might be lifted. But alas, I must keep my silence for now. It would not do for my singing to disturb Lily Cecile's sleep any further. I mean, I feel like... Wouldn't that make people angry, though? That's what the Liar of Ire is, right? It's literally called Ire. You're back, are you? Is there something I can... My goodness, is that the Liar of Ire, my family's most precious heirloom? But how and why? Well, is it, a g it is a gift from Barbella. She thought that if you presented this to me, I might teach you how to build my ultimate invention in return. That is a lie. A Barbella would never resort to bribery. It is not in her nature. But this is indeed the Lyre of Ira. However did you repair it? I am the Builder! See, so you are the legendary Builder. I had wondered why you were able to see me. Now I know. Apparently Builders can see g, -g ghosts You are the Builder, with whose fingertip within whose fingertips dwell the long-lost power of creation. If only I had been granted such an ability, perhaps I could have completed my research. I envy you, Felicia. Rubus has blessed you with the power to create. The power that was stolen from humankind so many years ago. Felicia, you are the only one who can complete my life's work. Here, build these blocks and fill in the blanks. One by one. One, uh, only by that you will you and Barbella obtain that which you seek. Well, he's weirdly not anti-Barbella all of a sudden. A blue block? Strange. Slightly bizarre. I'll be right back. Gotta get myself some water. Adam has decided. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six water. Why would you just step on that bleeder? Watch it, Felicia. I'll let go with Galileo. <laughs> so he saw through my little scheme, did he? I had a feeling he might. Galileo always has proper clever clogs. And it pains me to say it, but he knew about Bella better than any of us and all. <clears throat> what do I mean, what I mean? Come on, Felicia. Don't tell me you haven't clocked on yet. Galileo and Barbella didn't just work together, they were together. Oh, I didn't clock that actually, my bad. And Barbella was born in coal, where it's hot as all heck, and Galileo was born in Galanome, where it's cold enough to freeze your pecs off. These personalities are as different as their hometowns, but still, there was somewhere, something special between them. Clever girl. Why'd they give the raptor a rocket launcher? They spent their days inventing weapons to fight off the monsters, laughing and flitting all the while. Honestly, it was enough to make a bodybuilder blush. And then, after all them long, uh, art pounding days, together came that fateful night when, at long last, she killed him. What? I mean, we've been told, and he says she's a murderer, but something doesn't sound right. I don't know exactly what happened. Barbella's never talked about it. Oh, that gives me bits. <laughs> cool. And I've never asked. Whatever happened that night, I'm sure she had her reasons. I believe in her. So that's it, that's the terrible truth. She's got to face if she's gonna get Galileo's ultimate invention up and running. Thanks for helping me with this, Felicia. Better go and tell Barbella what we'll find out. Thanks for the squid on stick, mate. Hello, my name's Korg. I'm gonna get on that ship. You fly away from here, you wanna come? You don't have to explain, Gluten has told me everything. Hmm. He's got a lot of nerve going behind my back like that. Never mind all this as well as that ends well, I suppose. So, what's this clue Galileo gave you about building an weapon? Blue blocks, eh? What are we supposed to use them for? Hold on, I've just remembered something. Galileo has this storeroom over in Galenorm that he used to hide his secret plans from the monsters. He said he'd put a special lock on that place that he'd never be able to crack. And I reckon them blocks have got something to do with it. 
Go on, Felicia, whip up a couple of them blue blocks, take him over to that storeroom, see if you can figure it out. Thanks for the location. Oh, we trapped here. Believe it or not, we are. I don't need all this to. I should probably cut my trees down. If I made fencing, I might be able to make this into a tree garden. Not that I need the points anymore. <coughs> I guess we're not planting them again. Not that I need the wood. Um, ah, is it nap time already? Oh, thank you for the 45 bit cheer, cheer, I wait until the stingers. Oh well, too late now. <coughs> <coughs> More water. It does kind of sound like I need it though. I don't blame you on that one. Okay, we need to make blue blocks. So blue blocks probably crafted here. There wasn't. It wasn't black there. Okay, love you too. Thank you for coming by. Much appreciated, as usual. What am I supposed to do with these blue blocks with? Eh? There we go. What we need? Power crystals. Oh, wow. Actually, just straight up power crystals. Um, I think I'll make another set just in case. I feel like... She said Gallon. You know what I do need to do? Make some more Chimera Feathers. She was talking about the cave. And then we already have the library, but she doesn't seem to realize. Ah, bloody hell. I need more Chimera Wings. Alright, so if we see any Chimeras, we'll fight them. Uh, things didn't happen when I go out in town, so if you don't mind, let's get your blood pumping. Stop crying about your headache, let's go. Gallon home proper is the green one. We'll have to fight a giant hand again. I'm not gonna have it. Uh, we also probably need to get ourselves. Spell, get out of here, you're banned. I'm with you all the way. Unless you climb a surface, I don't know how to climb, and then you're boned. I'm not following you. Oh, yeah, I guess we could climb over the mountain, but instead, we just could also break our way into this place. They got Daleks here, man. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh, pain. Not so much. Not so much pain. Not so much pain. Oh, I can stare off the ground, get some ice. That's nice. Thanks a bunch. Huh. First Fortress Foundation block. Now, doesn't that sound hardcore? Uh, uh, go all three of them. They heal over time. It's fantastic. I don't think we'll be swimming. <coughs> fantastic. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Uh, 
Leaving mine now, can we? Are you waking up or not? Wish I could just shake him awake. Don't have a snoozing spell somewhere. Actually, I do need to wait for you. Of all the things you dropped, you chose to drop the only thing. Like, you dropped two things. I need feathers, and you dropped the egg. Lads, we're climbing. I don't want that. Thank you. Fantastic. And they made it up. All three of them? Yeah. The baby set them up. Something, something blue blocks? Aha! Here we go. Bearer of blue blocks. Fill in the blanks in the floor. Fill in the blanks in your notch. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, no one figured this out because they can't craft blue blocks? Is that what the trick is? Because that's... Sad. Uh, the word is sad. Truly. Idea. I'm gonna need you to move. It took 15. Oh, I'm not sure about it. Treasure chest, but luck the prototype plans. And that gives us the capacity to make a Volcovoltaic Magi Motor, which these guys had. Volcovoltaic. Electricity Vulcan. Volcano power? It's not cut enough of others. Now, I'm fairly certain we're gonna need to do it via the welding table. I need a curious contraption, which probably I get from talking to her. You found a plans for a prototype invention in Galileo's storeroom? Quick, Felicia, let me take a butcher's at them. Cool, blimey, this design says so everything we, you need to know to finish building an optimal weapon. <laughs> you sister the last, eh? I tried to figure it out on my own, but in the end I couldn't finish the job without his help. Man I loved, and the man I killed. I've told you all, the all about the research Galileo was working on, right? He poured his heart and soul into trying to find a way of combining the powers of fire and ice. No matter how hard he tried, he never could finish the job until he turned up. Us humans didn't just didn't have the power to build that kind of thing. With every failed experiment, his mind and his body wasted away, and there was nothing I could do to help him. And then one day, the Dragon Lord came. He told Galileo that if he joined up with the monsters, he'd be given knowledge beyond all human understanding. The power to complete all his life's work. It's too much for Galileo to resist. He said yes. Ironic, isn't it? He'd spent his life working on an invention that could wipe the Dragon Lord's army out, but he got so obsessed with, with his work, he lost sight of his true aim and ended up joining him. I called it. We promised each other that whatever happened, whatever we had to do, we'd never let the monsters win. So when he became one of them, I'd do what I had to do. She put him down. Cool, blimey, why'd you make me spill my guts out like that? But anyway, it's time to stop moping over the past and start looking at the future. We've got to get that ultimate weapon built and take out the monsters' leader. Galileo got us fast finishing off the Volcovoltaic Volca <laughs> Magimol that was supposed to power that thing, but never could figure out how to put together the weapon itself. Now it's your turn. Time to show us what a builder can really do. 
Hey shit, Felicia, it's finally time to put this war to bed. Use that magic mode up, build the ultimate weapon, and use the ultimate weapon to feed the magma lice and the fern fiend. It's up to you how you build it, and what you call it, but whatever you do, you gotta get that weapon built. The Bashmobile. Spike Trike. So I'm guessing I need the motor. Yeah, we need the motor. We need the curious contraption. Don't think that's a recipe I can make. Feel like I'm missing out on something. Did we miss something? the case we would have the curious contraption so that's not it oh goodness that didn't kill the stream did it Misunderstanding stuff. Okay. Um, sorry. I got you. We have to go and pick up the curious contraption. Leave me alone. interested in whatever you're selling. It's gonna be an ad break folks. Oh lord. No, it looks generally pointed not towards that guy, so we're safe. Possibly. to get myself a freaking okay that's okay because those can be crafted out in the wild and you're giving me the materials for it so we're safe i think for now we gotta make all the way over there happen thank you so if i find a crafting station just out in the open like they tend to be big rock Good for me, you can't craft anything out of it. Let's get some food. Small ouch, but it's fine. We have regen. Yep. Yeah, it's a bridge. Unfortunately, bridges give me the feeling that I'm going to have to fight something on the way there. Uh, which is unfortunate considering the fact that I didn't bring any party members. Yeah, here we are. Oh no. Lucky for me, I've got the library and stuff. damage my armor, so I gotta be careful. I don't 
I'm on the Yaoi Pawi. Sure is left. Didn't lock on to me. That's fine. No tracking. Oh. Deuces? What a bleeding weirdo. Again, I feel like I should have brought allies here. Four enemies all by myself, and then a rather tanky. I don't think I'm quite of a fan, but we can make it happen. It's fine. We're taking some damage. Like I said. Uh, huh? Oh, that's gonna be Two down. Keep running. There's daylight. Where you going? Gonna run like your friend familiar? I said, I'll go. Generation isn't going as fast as I thought it would. Going a lot faster earlier. And it doesn't seem to be crafting table. And you got it out here. Monsters and I'm alone. I will likely be fine. Likely. A lot more of these dudes. Dude, I'm healing. Oh, I've just wounded myself in there. Okay, okay, well, relax. Too. It's not that impressive. You don't think that was a bit cheap? Sound sounds very nice, very impactful, very good. Last one, Bucko. I fought you all myself. Imagine that. Come a long way from where we struggled earlier. Really. Show me the treasure chest. What luck, the curious contraption. Want that seed of life, mate. 
cranks us up to 105. There's no crafting station anywhere around here, so I have to walk all the way back, eh? Yikes. Well, we could keep going, maybe? I doubt it's gonna give me much, but eventually we're gonna have to get somewhere, right? That's not the weird bedrock. Oh. Nice, funny Lord of the Rings joke, bucko. You're also facing the wrong way, so that tells me I should have I could have approached from the other side. In fact they expected me to approach from the other side. Hit hot, don't you please? I'm just looking for a little crafting table. If you don't mind, alright, you can point me towards one and then I can just be out of your hair. You don't want me here, I don't want to be here. Right? I want a Camaro wing, and you're not being helpful in attaining them. Leave me alone, I don't want to walk all the way home. There's a lot of metal here. Looks like our old crafting something is gone. I don't think there's any crafting tables anywhere around here. Sudoku. Can't build there. Okay, noted. Can I build here? Nope. Beyond the bridge is a no go. Gotcha. Interesting. Look like I might have been able to do something there, but I guess not. I guess we're walking back, lads. 6 p.m. Yeah, we got time. I'm not too stressed on time. I basically gonna be done by 3 p.m. my time, which is in two hours. So we have a solid amount of stream to go. I'm almost confident we can pull off the the chapter end by the end of the stream. Once we do, we'll be able to start. Oh, that looks like a crafting table. Fantastic. But you leave me alone. Next time, I won't be forgetting to use those. I will totally be forgetting again. You can see where I patched this place up a little bit. Uh, I just want to get bed. We can make the car. I don't know why that's an ultimate weapon. It's just a car. But they tend to get us to make a new item for each boss. And this is the one. Bash will do what's missing. A thermal battery. That's fine. I got enough lava, right? Yep. 
there it is, lads. We've got ourselves a Bashmobile. Oh, baby, it's not. It's a trike. Oh, I'm here for it. <laughs> nice. I don't know where the ice comes in, but I saw the fire. No, I'm good for now. You've done it! You've built the ultimate weapon! Thanks, Felicia! Now I've got Leo can rest in peace. I'm on the wrong accent again. Uh, just imagine how differently things could have turned out if he'd built this thing for the Dragon Lord. If the monsters had that kind of power, we would have stood a chance. Wouldn't have stood a chance. There ain't a day that goes by I don't regret what I did, but maybe it was for the best. I can't get off it. Don't get me wrong, Felicia. I didn't do what I did to save the world. I did it to save him. Ah, uh, call blimey, Felicia. Why you got me talking all soapy again? Soppy. It's time to forget about the past and start concentrating on the future. That ain't nothing more than futuristic. Futuristic than a weapon you've built. I thought I was going to be some kind of rocket, but that's actually something you can ride in, right? So have you come up with a name for it yet? The Bashmobile. Oh, oh, the Bashmobile? Pfft, you might be a genius of building things, Felicia, but you can't name it to save your life. Still, it ain't the name that counts. Now that we've got old, uh, the ultimate weapon, we're all ready to take on a magma life and a fern field. Field. Come on, Felicia, let's take that Bashmobile of yours down to Monster's Manor and teach those blatters a lesson. Oh, and thanks, Felicia. After all you've done for me, I can't thank you enough. Alright, so now comes the boss rush. Yep. Ah, stone me, what the heck was all that shaking about? Surely it can't be. And they're actually duking it out. Funny. Alright, put all that stuff away. Sugar cane. I want to make some ice cream too. Ah, that's what we make with the butter and some stuff, okay. Ah, uh, now you hold on there. I'm gonna let you do that. We don't do that here. Oh, she's got hammer too. Leave us alone. Let's get those fights going. Some rotten monsters, just when we was on our way to attack them, they come and attack us. But there's a strange entity in the air at this time. I feel a power stronger than anything I've felt before. Hold on, you told me the monsters nicked the prototype magic model from Galileo's laboratory, didn't you? Ah, don't tell me to use it already. Oh, never mind all that. We've got some monsters to mash. What do you say, Felicia? You ready to crack some skulls? Aye, we are. It's skull cracker time. And they come from where the cannon is. Some dancing flames, eh? Ah, too bad for you, my friend. You die in one hit. Cheeky bums. Easy peasy. You're a joke. Legardman. You're not as much of a joke. But you can't do as much destruction as, like, hammer. Who's the rest of my squad? Why are you running? Climbing hell, where's the last one? Oh, found the rest of my squad. Don't get killed though. What are you waiting for? Victory. Classic. All right, monsters are defeated. Now we got phase two to go to. Night uh. Yeah. Ah, bloody hell. Walk too close. Now I've got a great gaping hole in our defenses. Oh, actually, it's just a distance. That's not so bad. I am taking a unsubstantiated amount of damage. Stop it. Oh, dude. Not this. That makes 
c'est pas des huîtres. Et peut-être l'ordre avec les huîtres, mais stop really care much for the earth around my cannons but it's the piston defenses and stuff I like to fix those please three pouches of medicinal herb Now they are all pointed in the right direction. There you go! No, the squad of monsters is on its way over. They're trying to wipe us out. As long as we've got all our new weapons with us, these rotters don't stand a chance, right? I was about you give me a taste of that bash mobile of yours, eh, Felicia? What do you say, lass? You ready to ram a bit of scent in them rotters? I completely forgot you even used the bash mobile for the entire last fight. I wonder if it does any damage. Ah, uh, kill him. Oh, dear. Right, that is handy. Hammer of the magic variety. Also, the magic cannon probably does that same stuff. That's round one. Easy peasy indeed. <laughs> These guys are easy. It's the leader that's going to be the trouble, right? Dead, dead. Everybody's got magic items, so we don't have to worry about anything else. Where's the big guy coming? I know he's here. Oh lord. Get him away. Get him away. I don't wanna fight you in the wilds, I don't wanna have to fight you here. Look at me that's just put back. Alright, let me hit him. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. It's just stomping. The button's nice when you have a lot of enemies to like take it. Oh no. Are useful when you've only got one, and they can only hit, get hit by the one item at the time. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! 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 stop, stop. Be gone. Centering yourself is not a good thing, Cyclops friend. Uh, those that might be gigantes. Right, that's round two. Round three is coming up, and then nice boss time. And we managed to do that without any damage to the base. Very nice. Alright then, one 
ask you of it. Did you get a load of the monsters? First lot were from Cole, the last lot were from Gallinorm. There's no doubt about it, Magma Lodge and the Fern Fiend are in cahoots. You can't worry about that now. I've oh, just got to give the next set of monsters that comes in here a proper weapon. What do you say, Felicia? Ready for a ruckus? I didn't even. They gave me medicinal herb. I didn't get no life. Life seeds from that, eh? Well, uh, right then, uh, it's this way. My base alone. <laughs> Rock MV. <MVP. laughs> oh, Knight Errant and Knight of Errant. Nice. Uh, Y'all need to stop aiming to your, l your rights. Baird's not fighting, eh? What a... Even Glutamus is fighting. No, Glutamus isn't your ally. Nice job, guys. Ten out of ten. Alright, so I have this knight, these hunter mags, and we got probably one more. It'll be a big one, I bet. I hope it's not a giant hunter mag. Oh, right. Oh, look, it was. Crap! Right, you're getting my knickers in a twist. Do me a favor and bugger off. He's too small to aim with both. You didn't clench hard enough, mate? Got side points, dude. There we go. That's it. Easy peasy. Now I gotta keep in mind we are gonna lose like half the base during that fight. The boss fight, based on how it usually goes. There's the seed of life I wanted. Yeah, that looked a bit more special. So we're gonna save our game. We're gonna fix the cannon, which is definitely gonna get broken. Just out of experience, the base takes a hit. from the boss fights every time. The Hades combo was pretty bad because the tornadoes were just absolutely ridiculous. Hmm, actually, didn't destroy much. Another micro chip? Don't need it, thanks. Alright, got it. There we go. This is it, Felicia. A final battle of Colin Gallon. Have we gotten used to handling that bash mobile yet? If I was you, I'd make sure I knew exactly what I was doing before I went up against Magma Lice and the Fan Fiend. If you reckon you're ready for it, time to face him for the final battle. What do you say, Felicia? Ready to rumble? Tell me, Felicia, you got nothing to worry about. You can rely on your inventions. You didn't just pick them up on your travel or get someone else to make them for you. You build it with your own two hands, and it's time to break out your ultimate weapon. It's time to take Cole and Gallon on back from the monsters once and for all. Go on, Felicia, show those Rotazu's boss. Alright, everybody gets docked out. Which they don't seem surprised by this time. The first time and the third time. They this time it's just... So it's a double boss? Oh. Magma lice in a fan feed. You don't look like a lice at all. I gotta get some hits in, come on. Stop it. Oh, what? Yeah, 
Get away! Oh my gosh. Wow, that's annoying. Okay. Magma Lice is defeated. Could have fooled me. I'm betting the next one's gonna be the Fern Fiend, yeah. The second half is going to be fused into the two. Oh my gosh. How do you want me to... Oh, I need to be in the car to dodge it. Gotcha. If it works, it works, I guess. We gotta run out of healing real quick. Thank you. Well, that answered my question. I wondered how we were gonna dodge really against the boss. Running into him. Pure and simple. Let's do, but it works. Got some copper out of that. Fuse, right? There we go. What we got now? Ah, uh, look at that. Who'd have guessed? Hostile merger. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> That's awful. I love it, but it's awful. One of the hostile bonus hands is weak. No, we need to get back in that battlefield ASAP. Thanks. Alright, was There it is. We got like upwards of two minutes. Uh Bollocks. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. We can't go there, we are not safe. I lied. You can see the scraps of the rain. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Got lots of ice now. Give me a bit of epic ik epicurean. What? what does that mean? Eating 20 different foodstuffs. Alright, cool. This is actually probably one of the easier bosses. Uh, they don't really put your uh, your base in danger. Um, it's all about the gimmick of running into them with the car, which is fine, honestly. It's a pretty easy gimmick, it's, if, as long as you figure out that you want to be on the car like at all times. Oh, see, you don't get attacked by the weird circles if you're on the car. It just cancels them out, so there you go. Now, what's that? Cracked crystal. What can I craft with that? That's a question, isn't it? Not goofy. Sunstone! You can make a sunstone! Which is gonna be something we're gonna need. So we have a staff? We have a sunstone. I'm actually really curious. We don't have access to the older recipes here, tragically enough. <laughs> Holy smokes, you actually did it! Well in Felicia, you gave that hostile merger a proper punch up the bracket. Those rotten monsters use Galileo's circuit invention makes themselves more powerful than ever before. But they were no match for that ultimate weapon you built. Well, sir, if it weren't, ju it weren't just you who built the Bashman Beard, it was all of us. Call blimey, Felicia. You can't come up with a decent name to save your life, but you know what to say to bring tears to my eyes. 
But anyway, you know that funny looking crystal you picked up? I think you might be able to make something out of that. Would it clear away the darkness? What you reckon, Felicia? I reckon I'm out my, myself a sunstone. What you think? Oh, we needed some other materials to get to. No problem there. Whoa! That's a legitimate sun. Use that sunstone right on that. Nice work, Felicia. Put the sunstone back together. That thing will get rid of the darkness over coal and get them no problem. Thanks, Felicia. If Galileo could see you now, I bet he'd be as proud of you as I am. Enough of that. Uh, enough of this soppy rot. Hold that sunstone up to your banner. Oh, and make this place shine again. Bring the sun back. <sighs> I wonder if these were like items you needed in the original Dragon Quest game. That doesn't look so good in 3D. Uh, no, take it back. It looks better from this angle. Return to coal and gallon home. Double whammy, Felicia, my child, you have done well. You have freed this land from the Dragon Lord's evil influence. Now its people are free to rebuild it in their own image. However, your duty is not over yet. There are others who still suffer under the Dragon Lord's rule and await your succor. Go blimey, Felicia, just look at that sky. I've never seen anything so blue before. It's beautiful. It's just so beautiful. That night, the people of Colon Gallenholm hold a party to celebrate the victory over the monsters. Bodybuilders dance and dine and flex their muscles while the youngsters of Gallenholm giggle at their antics and make plans for the future. And in those shadows, at the fringes of the firelight, stands Galileo, his eyes fixed on Barbella. He gazes at her with tenderness in his eyes and a satisfied smile on his lips, but Felicia's the only one who knows what he, that he's there. Then morning comes. That was actually a little nice little tidbit they threw in there. Uh, you wait yet, Felicia? Call blimey, my head's pounded like an amode. I reckon I had a bit too much fun last night. Drink, she drank. They just don't want to say it. I don't know if I was just the exhaustion catching up, catching up with me. Well, hey, even I, I even started seeing things. I, th I thought I saw Galileo hanging out in the shadows. It must have been just a dream. <laughs> he had this stupid grin on his face, just like old times. Speaking of seeing things, Glutman spotted something too, a lot in the sky over the western mountains. Of course, you don't have to look into it if you don't, if you ain't interested. I just thought you might want to go and have a gander. It's not by saving. Follow the light. You can't jump. It's not very useful in the long run. Last chapter's gonna be. Here we are. Felicia, my child, the light you see before you is a portal to the next land, and you must free from the Dragon Lord's curse. The items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light, you will lose everything. You'll be transported to the deathly moors of Tantagel, where the darkness is so dense that even my own powers cannot penetrate it. There, you must complete the sacred duty that has been bestowed upon you. Once you have done so, your role in Ilfgaard Revival will be complete. Though this task of yours and yours alone, know d that I do watch over you always. Do this task, you see. Leave this island and travel to the next one. Uh, this is the boss fight and the, the world that we had the least amount of trouble with keeping the base undestroyed, so that's cool. Oi, 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 what the heck's going on here then, Felicia? Don't tell me you was going to sneak off without saying goodbye to old Meglutmus. You can't do this to me, Felicia. I thought we was going to be bodybuilding buddies. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so selfish. Barbella heard me warning like that, she'd give me a proper walloping. You got a world to rebuild, ain't ya? Building the body's gonna be the last thing on your mind. But still, why you got to be so heartless? Honestly, you and Barbella are like two peas in a pod. I told you, you was, <laughs> I told her you was leaving and she didn't even flinch. Look, Felicia, I know where you're off to. You're heading to Tentacle, ain't ya? Ain't nothing there but death and darkness. Old place, a wasteland of ashes, ruled over by being a pure evil. If you're dead set on going over there, there's something I gotta give you. All on almost tight as you can, and I reckon you'll be able to take them all the way to Tentacle. Well, I suppose this is it then. Be lucky, Felicia, and don't do what not now wouldn't do. Well, counting on you, you know. 
Get yourself all the tentacle and give it all of our elf guard a new lease of life. Li a new, new lease of life. Not on, but oh, life. So we don't know what the items that they gave us were. I have no clue. We can guess that he probably gave us some kind of dumbbell charm or something. But we've got no idea wh before getting there what they are. Yeah, uh, nice, nice, nice. Huh, <laughs> did not do that. Spectacular spa blueprint. Liar of Slime Immemorial. Keeper of Coal, Guardian of Galanon. So that's three quarters of the game done then. Tentacle. And it says his final chapter. There you go. New Island in Terra Incognita. Wow, that, this place looks absolutely wild. New recipes, of course, of course, of course. So, my plan was to be done at three. We got a bit of time left. That's solid. So, let's get cracking. To Tentacle, my friends. Got that classic Dragon Quest crest there. Welcome. We are now wearing rags once again. Felicia, my child, can you hear my voice? You stand in the land of death, a place where my light cannot reach. In this land of Tentacle, all has been lost, even the banner of hope. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good start. And yet, I see something. Go forth, young Felicia. Seek out your fellow man and find the banner. And know, my child, that I watch over you always. Dude, they gave me a cypress stick. It did give me dumbbells. So we might know what they gave us then? Interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, dude, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Huge horn, okay. Nope. Long have I awaited thy coming, Felicia. Why, I have lost fair, lo fair lost count of the years thou art the builder of the prophecy, art thou not? Come, let me look upon thee. If a fledgling child such as thee art truly the savior of whom Almighty Rubus spoke, I fear we have a long red ahead of us, and yet tis the path we must needs take. I am Mill and Seer of Dantigil. Follow me. Okay, but I'm taking the bonfire. Over here, there. I'm gonna take those bones, too. <laughs> Forgive me, I am not as young as I once was. Let me rest for a while, I pray thee. Ah, Felicia. Thou art the serving of servant of Almighty Rubus, the one whose long coming I have long awaited so many long hard years. But if that is true, wherefore <laughs> wearest thou the vacant visage of slack jawed simpleton? And wherefore, when first we met, didst thou not address me as sir, but rather by the more informal granddad? <laughs> we did this? Well, no matter, our destination lies ahead. Let us continue. I'm taking the bonfire, I told you. I need mats. I can't even get some skulls. I got a skeleton, I'm not surprised by that. Oh, well, that's where the banner should go, I guess. <laughs> hey, tell me, girl, didst thou attempt to outstrip me just then? Well, no matter. Even if thou wert to take a whip to me, I could not move any faster. I must rest for a moment. This land was once home to the great city of El Tantigo, capital of the kingdom of Elfgard. But now it is little more than an ashen wasteland, incapable of supporting human life. Tentacle is becoming a land of darkness, where hope and happiness are but fleeting memories. As the builder of legend, it is followeth the deed to fulfill thy sacred duty and bring the benighted land back to the light. But it is a measly meadow such as thee, truly capable of such a feat. Come, let us proceed. Our destination is near at hand. There is a person there. I'm guessing I'm going to have to craft the banner of hope. Oh, there is a banner there. Let's repair it, though. Statue of the Princess. <laughs> Welcome, Felicia, to the last grasp of life remaining in all Tentacle. I did bring thee here at Almighty Ruiz's command that it might serve as a staging post for thy rebuilding efforts. As well thou seest, this place is all encircled by death. If e'er the light is to return to Tentacle, thou must first breathe life back into this land. Beg pardon, thou wishest to know more of the statue that standeth outside. Tis a lifelike image of a princess who once lived in these lands, carved in stones. I know not whence it came. <laughs> it's not a lifelike image, it is the princess petrified. I know not whence it came, but mayhap tis that statue's enlightening influence that keepeth the darkness at bay. 
So too must thou needs find a way to return this ashen land to life. When thou hast discovered such a method, I bid thee return, journey to the ruins of Tentacle Castle, and rebuild the capital anew. I know many things, but how wilt thou wilt accomplish thy aim is not among them. Thou must needs think upon it thyself. The only guidance that I can offer unto thee is this. May it light thy way into the darkness. One green navaglobe. Interesting. Okay. Now, how now, Felicia? Thinkest thou this land's revival lieth within my powers? There is little and less available here in terms of raw materials, not but a collection of broken branches and the bones of men and monsters both. Nor is there any food to be found. I expect the pangs of hunger are already needling at thine empty belly. I survive on what little nourishment I gain from the drifting mist here. Allow me to share it with thee. Uh, okay, so he can fill up my... Okay, interesting. If e'er thou shalt feel thirst, there is a spring close by. Thou, thou wouldst need to build a container of some sort to carry the water with thee. We have a crafting station right now. Okay. Uh, oh, pure water. Nice. horn rimmed bucket. So we can make a bucket? We need broken branches. I would like to make a room out of that place. Ash. It's not even earth, it's ash. We should be able to make ourselves a mallet with a bit of broken branches as well. Though... Branches here. Good. Uh, I can make the bucket. I can't make a mallet. Plain clothes require coarse cloth. Okay. Get those all skeletons going there. Bucket. Got a room. What do you mean I can't place that there? What's the point then? Oh, I can make anything here. Okay, cool. All right. Tragic music. There you go, skinny cones. There's water. Yeah, I knew they'd drop some more spawn. And some burns. Oh, I didn't think so. Everything's so hard to break. All this ash stuff is busted AF. Yeah. Book is titled Passage Tentacle, Volume 5. Uh, would I allow to read it? Yes. How many years have passed since I departed my hometown of Cantlin? I know not. But at long last I have arrived in the land of Tentacle, which was once the capital of all Earthgarth. Sadly, it is no more. Thou, uh, though I am yet far from the Tentacle Castle, already the reek of death and despair is nigh unbearable. With the Dragon Lord's Castle just across the, co the water, it would seem these lands have seen the worst affected by the Demon's Curse. It is a happy accident that this filter fountain escaped this unholy wrath. I can refill my flasks and continue my journey. All around here is contaminated by the curse, but anyone with so much as a bucket may draw sweet, clear water from the mountain. Uh, fountain. Rumors tell that if it was left here by a scholar who hoped to see its purifying powers bring back life to this land. He dwelt in a hermitage in the north of this place, where he conducted research into the formulation of holy water. If thou who reads this message does intend to rid this land of the curse, I bid thee investigate the scholar's abode. I, meanwhile, will continue on. Every breath I take of this ashy air is harder than the last. I may not have long remaining to reach my destination. Sir Reginald Augustus Greens, Cantal Cantlin Brigade of God. Okay, so we got... Oh, the book was the quest marker. Gotcha. Maybe I can make some better armor with this. I, I have no armor, actually, technically. I think, right? Stop it. Dropping the ragged clothes also. I need more than just two. Oh dear. I don't have a base, so maybe we should. Hmm. So everything is not. I think that's great, we can't get anything out of which is a fun start to this uh, level. Oh, I see a light over yonder. There's a lot of horns there. I wonder if 
that applies to the skeletons as well. Ah, looks like a tent over there that I maybe I could uh utilize. What's that? There's a banner. Thank you. Goodness. There's a letter on top of the crate. Looks like it was written quite recently. I can't believe it. How unlucky can one be? Just when I heard that the bill has finally arrived and us humans are on the up again, I only end up getting swept out to sea and wash up here in this wasteland. I found a book near a spring that's said to go up north to find how to make the holy water, but there's nothing here. I'm going to use the last of my strength to climb up to the top of the hill to see what I can see. The message ends there. Oh, that's neat. Can't break that stuff. That was the last of my. Oh, there's somebody there. Oh, he's dead. But there's something written in the ash next to him. Wall hollow hidden stairs. Wall hollow hidden stairs. Hidden Hermitage. Nice. Uh, <laughs> this one's not taking any pity on us, huh? Just got a vial. <laughs> oh dear. There's an old faded letter on top of the crate. Several years have passed since I began my studies, and at long last I've almost achieved my aims. I've all but discovered the wires by which holy water can be concocted, the very thing we need to banish the fiend's curse. But the monsters are no fools. Their attacks have been occurring more frequently of late. I must needs withdraw me to the innermost chamber and set traps to stimulate their assaults. Whatever they may, might become of me, I cannot allow humanity's only hope to be lost forever. Ugh. Hello. Is there? Is it telling me to go a specific way? Oh golly gee! I can't block this, can I? Oh no! Diviner's altar recipe. Should have started running, mate. Yikes. Okay, you can still res me from here, apparently. That's fine. Um, okay, we got this bad boy. Still got me bucket. Death with a stick, mate. Man, it's just water. There we go. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any, uh, coffer. So this level starts off pretty harsh. Sorcery is this? What doth that water shine and sparkle so? Tis holy water, thou sayest. Why, if one were to sprinkle holy water upon this unholy land, it might very well... Oh, my hero. My poor hero. What ho? Didst thou hear a voice just then? Or are my own play ears playing ears on me? It's the princess, I would assume. Ah, so thou didst hear it stew, and thou warrant this it came from the statue. Could it be that that, human, that statue is no statue at all, but human being frozen in stone? Hurry, Felicia, to the statue. Mayhap that holy water of thine shall be of use. Give me a seed of laugh I can't use, right? Oh, no, I got it. I don't got it. Where's the... Where's the... There. <laughs> there. on the statue. De petrified princess. But where am I? Hath the spell been lifted? Art thou the one who did rouse me from my slumber? Let me look upon thy face. How indomitable thine expression! How dignified thy features! Verily, I sense a great, I sense a great power within thee, just as I did when I met, yeah, just as I did when I first I met someone I once knew. Cool. Thou art the builder, art thou not? The one who was blessed with the power to create. When the dragon lord took power and stole the light from the sky, I thought that all hope was lost, and so I recited a charm and turned myself to stone. I know not how many years have passed since that moment, but twould seem the Dragon Lord's reign of darkness continueth still. And yet, now that thou art with us, hope is returned. For thou art the Builder, the one blessed by benevolent Rubus herself, to make Elfgard rise again. Felicia, wheresoever thou journeyest, I shall follow. For the light, for the past that thou treadest will lead us back to the light. By the goddess, verily, the statue hath come to life! This miracle is a shining beacon of hope in this darkened domain. All that remaineth is to journey forth to the ruins of Tentacle Castle and bring about its rebirth in the same wise. Wise equals way? If we can stay alive that long, Felicia, I sense a great evil approaching. No, a fight? I'm not... I'm not equipped for a fight? What are you doing? Uh, I got enough of that, at least. That's cool. That's all I got, though. I can't make anything else. We don't even have a base right now. I can save, though. That's nice. Goody. Right then, at least we can uh, juice up our defenses. Felicia, I'm so feared. A great evil is approaching. To it seem they hate the Dragon Lord, or else one of his unholy servants hath taken heed of the princess's revival. The princess is a budding beacon of hope in these benighted lands. We must protect her at all costs. To not do to face this battle unprepared, tell me, Felicia, art thou hungered? Then allow me to share half part of the mists I've collected with, them, with thee. Come, Felicia, pucker thy lips. I don't like that. Are you kissing me? Ooh. Ooh. How fairest thou now? Dost thy body brim with vim and vigor? Yeah, sure. Then I beg thee, Felicia, let's not let not these marauding monsters snuff out Tentacle's only hope. If ere this land is to see the light again, we must make our way to Tentacle Castle and ensure its revival. So the base can be Tentacle Castle then? In my, in my myself, where are monsters coming from? The north? The west? The south? Matt 
that's all. Y'all are just standing there doing nothing. You're just like, yo, get him, Felicia. You got this. A blue teleportal already. Wow. Draw the light. Mine eyes burn. Take thy light away. It is not needed here. This half of the world is mine. All mine. Alright, let's put down the teleportal then. I level up my base because I don't got no base. Temple time. Divine dagger if I want to deal damage. I need silver for that. I can't even mine silver right now. Fine display, Felicia. I never supposed thou wert capable of such fine deeds of arms. But why looks thou so solemn? Such gravitas does not suit this happy occasion, nor thy face for that matter. What? Thou didst hear a powerful, a fearful voice from afar? There was nothing of the sort, I assure thee. Mayhap your mind is merely overstrained for the battle. After all, thou art a builder, not a warrior. Forgive me for asking so much of thee. And yet it seems thou hast been granted suitable reward for all thine endeavours. It is a teleportal, is not? On the morrow I shall bid you journey through the teleportal and seek out the ruins of Tentacle Castle. But as for today, thy work is done. My shack is but a meagre pal place, riddled with holes, but if you can repair them, it is yours to rest in. Thousand thanks, Felicia. Thou hast delivered me from the monsters. Pardon? Thou didst hear a strange voice drifting upon the wind? I cannot claim to have heard the same. If I had he heard such a terrifying thing, I'm certain I would remember it. Mayhap the day's exertions have frayed thy nerve somewhat. Why not rest for the moment? I'm sure thou wilt feel much better come tomorrow. Right, so I'm gonna dream, right? Is that it? You get a teleportal, you dream. That, those are the rules. Yep, long have I awaited this moment. Goofy looking. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. What sayest thou? Will thou rule beside me? Then let it be so. Yea, and to signify the peace between us, wilt thou offer up thy weapon unto me? Ah, the great blade, hadst thou but trusted thine arm, such a weapon might well have brought thee victory. It matters not. Thou shalt receive thy just reward. This world shall be cleft in twain, and its blackest pits and dankest recesses rendered unto thee. So is that the hero that did May the darkness engulf thee for all eternity. <laughs> yeah, I think the hero actually betrayed him. Felicia, my child, why do you stare so in your sleep? Do you dream of the past once again? These painful memories are not your own, but those of a long-forgotten warrior. They were not meant for your eyes. Do not let these visions distract you from your duty. You need only fulfill the role entrusted to you. That will be enough. Felicia, do you remember that what I told you when we first awoke? First you awoke from your slumber. You are not a hero. It is not for you to defeat the Dragon Lord. Suspicious. I don't know if I trust her. Good morrow, Felicia. I see from thy spirit is stretching that thou didst sleep well. The way thou didst toss and turn in the night, I feel thy sleep would but fitful. Full like glad am I to see that those fears were misplaced. Felicia, my girl, I am seer. I know what thou art, and where their futures layeth. In her limitless wisdom, almighty Rubus hath granted the secret duty unto thee. And here in this unhallowed land of Tantigal is where thy role as the builder will be fulfilled. Felicia, thine adventure is nearly at an end. Thou must needs persevere only a little longer. Speaking of which... "'Tis time that thou didst put that blue teleporter to the test. I bid thee search out the ruins of Tentacle Castle, whence the king of El Eothgard once reigned. Restore the light to the accursed place, and see to its reconstruction. The holy water thou didst create will be of much use to thee in this. Scatter it about thyself to breathe life back into the ashen landscape. No doubt the fruits of that purification process will provide thee with much-needed materials for thy building efforts. And shouldst thou ever want for succor, return to me. The princess and I will remain here and wait, await word of thy success. Right. Cute. I still not ready to use it yet. All right. Good morrow to thee, Felicia. But thy moans and groans, by thy moans and groans, I gather thy dreams are troubled. Ne'er before have I heard such pitiful cries. Surely thou cannot feel rested after such a restful night, restless night. Come to me, Felicia, a little closer. Are right, you can heal? Cool. I know not how to soothe thy tormented soul, but thy body is another matter. If e'er thou requires my assistance, I stand ready. In the meanwhile, wilt thou be travelling through the hotel portal? Thou didst win in the previous battle, if fortune smileth upon thee, it may lead to my former home. Tentacle Castle now lieth, tr it lieth in ruins, but mayhap thou mindst find some clue there as to how its revival can be achieved. If e'er the light is to return to the place, the banner of hope must be recovered. Tis the rallying fly of our, uh, flag of our people, the proof that we humans once took arm against the Dragon Lord's armies and can do so again. If thou shouldst plant it in the heart of the castle the ruins, the goddess would surely grant the place for heavenly protection. 
I shall remain here and pray the benevolent Rub Rubus ensures thy safekeeping. Right, so unlike other the green one. We got the green Naviglobe first. Wild, okay. Tentacle more, the heart of the darkness. Ooh, red. That's a lot of big monsters. Just a hodgepodge of every monster we've seen so far, huh? Oh, yikes. We're in trouble now. I can't be making fights here. Felicia, my child, at long last you have arrived at your destination. The darkness that shrouds this land keeps me from bestowing my blessing upon it. But thanks to the princess's prayers, I can see you clearly once more. You stand in the very heart of Tantagul, the place you were ever destined to make your final stand. This land was once home to the capital city of all Avegard. It was a joyous place, filled with laughter and merriment. But because of a single warrior's betrayal, it fell to the Dragon Lord's curse and was reduced to this wasteland of death and destruction. Go, my child, head forth, head forth into the wastes and seek out the ruins of Tantagul Castle. Recover the missing banner of hope and bring the light back to Tantagul. And as you go, know that I do watch over you always. Right, okay, so. Blue Navigator. New plants that I probably can't use? Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Love that I have no quest mode. That's the banner of hope. Oh, I was expecting a bigger castle. That's fine. It's not the Banner of Hope. Oh! Well then. This is the Mason. Can't put a... M no, no, I can make a mallet. Good. make that. Nice. Okay, I can now defend myself a little better. I also can't make the... Oh. Yeah, I need everything I don't have. Uh, right then. Nice and all, I uh, can't really do blim and L with it, can I? That's not even a real room. Can't sleep here, got a chest though. That's nice. Anything in the chest? The stone, the stone, that's crafting stuff. something with it. Get some fur. I don't think I can get wood yet. Got a full gear. That should make it work. Alright, cool. Um, we have a chest, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Whoops. They wasted. At long last, I have arrived in Tentacle Castle. Off did I dream of... Uh, yet my dream is becoming a nightmare. The rumors were true. There is not left in this place but darkness and death. Of the bright and bustling city of Tentacle, once the jewel of all Avegard, nary a trace remaineth. However, there is one man who dwelleth here still. He on whose shoulder the hopes of the people of all Avegard was... Uh, uh, yeah. Hero's fateful shrug ushered the land to do its doom. 
But what use have I of this information? I have not the strength to continue my adventures any longer. I have reached the desti my destination, and here my journey must needs end. If thou who reads this page didst follow my journey here from Canton, I say this to thee. If thou didst take some comfort of un or understanding from my word, then mine arduous journey was not in vain. For that thou hast my thanks. Finally, I would offer you a word of advice. If ere the light is to return to this land of darkness, the banner of hope that was stolen by the monsters must needs be recovered. The fiends have it locked away in their newly built fortress to the south of these ruins. Their numbers are formidable and their defense is strong. To have any hope of success, thou must needs be prepared for a battle like never before. O oh, brave adventurers, thou who dost follow in my footsteps, restore Tanticle to the light and let Elfgard rise again. Reginald Augustus Clean's Cantlin Brigade of Guards. To the south? Exist? Hello? I'm almost convinced you don't. Oh my. Oh no! I do not have healing. Nor did I equip that stone sword. Just. Okay. That was the best weapon I could make at the time, so that's not exciting. Um, bloody hell. I guess I could craft up some stuff, maybe, but I can't make a better weapon. Let's go pick up our junk, I guess, and avoid the ghosts, the skeleton. Most of the stuff required. What am I supposed to do? Why are these skeletons so aggro? Oh, now I can get. What's it? Is it because he walked? Or is it a different skeleton? so many non-quest bomb monsters getting involved in this. And this guy only takes like, oh my gosh, are you for real game? Of course it won't open if I don't. Best sword I can make. One damage. Love that. I need that banner. Just keep bullying, I guess. Oh no. Oh, he took several zero damage hits. So stupid. Taking the cook fire. Y you want me to do with that? That's not what I was here for. Huh? Alright, that's not good.
I'll deal half their health sometimes, and then other times the sword will just do one damage? What's happening? Is it broken? Is... Huh? Why is it that for certain monsters it works and others it doesn't? Alright, hold up. Talk to me again. Uh, already got the food, it's fine. Uh, can, if ever the Dalmas needs return, okay. Holy water that, that we'll create will be of much. Okay, it doesn't tell me anything. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll be able to make wood by using the holy water. I didn't want to read the dang book. I'm clearly facing the Mason Station. Okay, we need wood. I couldn't care less about that. Colossal coffer requires fir, wood, pot. Oh my lord, I'm gonna bust that book. Can't eat my butt. The earth of which there has been created some over here, so not bad. Decorations are completely useless at the moment. Alright, we're a little better set off, but I still need. Five woods and two furs. Okay, I can get some of that easy. I would like to go back to where I died. I was able to get the young guy dropped because there's some holy water in there. Right, so this is minimal hand holding the way I see it. It makes sense. Uh, it hurts, but it makes sense. I think they should have, like, I should have seen a hint, too, the fact that, like, I 
tossed it in the air and then everything around me became grass. Oh, no, the problem is I might have done it like near where there's already a lot. I didn't notice. Okay, so to my knowledge, yeah, we died here. We need to go get more water purification in. Right ah, teeth become baby bushes. the coffer now, which is by and large the most important thing we do, that we need to gear ourselves up to be able to get to the point where we can fight the monsters that are in our way. So the next steps could be making uh, equipment. Bag being full anymore. All this stuff down. Right, so what's the next thing we want to do? Do we make any crafting tables? A furnace we can do. We have a divine altar, which we don't need to do more, can we? We make another mason's workstation. We're not making that without better equipment. So, first things first, our defense is pathetic. Like, absolutely painful. Uh, so we want Wayfarer's clothes, which means we need some orange oil and some cord. Cord requ requires ivy. Ivy requires we clean some of this stuff up. So, let's find some ivy. I assume we need a fur as well. I need to find I don't know what Ivy would look like on the walls now that it's dried out. So. Unless we can make cord out of the grassy leaves? Check. Material section and cord and ivory. Nope, I need ivory. Mm. Be careful with music because it's the only one I got right now. Aha! Kill him! Thank you! Bunch of pain in my butt. I could probably make more holy water, because I think I have some of that. Right? Yeah. Good. Right, that's better. Now we got that. I can make some cord. A butt ton of it. And we can start <laughs> handicrafting? Yeah, what's that mean? <coughs> Sweet. 
Best armor we can make at the moment. Alright, cool. Now, I bet that requires fur and wood, and we have not wood. So, the next step would be to utilize the seeds, correct? Which we put in the copper. World map. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. uh, that's like the second world map we got this entire game. Oh no, Bliminel, where did we put the stinking seeds? Makes the bones into flowers? Okay, interesting. Um, let's go take some sleep. Because I don't feel like dealing with g g g g ghosts. Okay. Put our regular clothing, that's exciting. Okay, cool. And then next, we need that wood. Clearly not going for the 30 day challenge. Okay, so planting them is completely useless. Interesting. But we can make more, like so. I guess because we planted it where it wasn't earthy. We'll take an extra look at that later, I think, for now. Uh, my apologies. I usually try to mute for that. Oof. Okay. In, in, in. Put that in there. That's material, that's material. And then let's see if we can... Plumberry seedling. Try that again. Okay, we can go back to the base and stuff. Already got all that. It's the that. One of the lumber needs to stay lumber, unless I want to make something out of it. And I don't. So, by something I mean uh, walls. Okay. Won't get any better than this. So to the south, they said they made it. Unaggressive Drakis are. So we're walking on the Bloodstone, that's not a problem. They do damage a bit. Not the easiest to take out. 
Interesting. Case to say. Who goes there? Are you a human? Maybe not. This one smells different to the others. Whoever you are, what do you want? You want the banner of hope? <laughs> don't make me laugh. If you value your life, then get lost. If you don't, then come on in. <laughs> Alright. New tentacle. New tentacle castle. Alright, we're going in. Here we go. I don't have my healing cream. Eleven monsters in here. Lots of dragon shape statues. Someone's got computers in my presence. Wings, skeleton. Oh goodness me. What am I supposed to fight them with? Can I trap them and step in stuff? They're like unkillable. Unless. I didn't do nothing. I can fight literally everything except those types of skeletons. I'm, I'm kind of confused about it because, like. What? Oh, except you can make a furnace! Okay, we're jumping the gun a bit because we keep telling ourselves that we're at the maximum gear that we can make, and it's not true. It's. What can we, what do we need for our friends? We can also make those divine things or the, the, the knives. Furniture, no, we need to make a furnace. Iron and coal. I I don't know where to get those yet. Uh, there are some weirdly colored blocks over there. Maybe those can be turned into iron and coal. Message written on the sign post. The Dragon Lord's curse sealed away all the good stuff from the underground and trapped it inside these big bloody balls. Uh, if the humans can't find a way to undo the curse, they'll never be able to build this place up back again. Okay. Don't give up, humans. We know you can do it. Lots of love from your neighborhood friends. Uh -huh. Aha! Interesting. Clay, we got iron. Cole, good. Doing great. But I need more. Yeah, all right. Figuring this out one type of block at a time. Let's go. That should be a distinct amount for now. D distinct? That's not the word I want to use. Here we go. Making my life hard. Okay. So. For the furnace, I also need more iron. Darn it. Okay. Uh, book it. Don't know what kind of water's which, but hopefully that's pure. It was, in fact, not. Um, maybe I should have grabbed the... Okay, we need to start thinking ahead here. Uh, because it's not doing so good regarding, uh, more iron we need to like I need I I'm thinking I should have grabbed the um the fountain you know what I think I need to use the washroom and we are at 230 which is a solid place to stop considering we beat the chapter we wanted to so I hope you folks had a good time uh I know you know I, I want to say I know I did uh <laughs> Uh, anyway, it was, it was a fun time. We beat chapter three. This one is presenting its own challenges, which is good. I was wondering what they were going to do with this one as a final chapter. Interesting that it starts you from scratch and they give you next to no instruction. I like that. It's a solid point. You're supposed to have understood the way the game works by now. So, pretty good. Uh, anyway, we'll be back. Um, not sure. 
Uh, I want to come back tonight, but I'm not sure how energized I'll be after my work shift, so we'll see what that's like. Other than that, tomorrow we usually we get two day streams, Tuesday streams, but I know Void is doing holiday stuff with his family, so that's not a thing. Uh, so we might do some more dragon quests there, uh, or during the day. So it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean it does if you want to watch it straight, but other than that, uh, see, see you then, next time we play. So, heads up, tonight I'm going to tweet usually 15 minutes ahead of time and m announce 15 minutes ahead of time on the Discord server. Uh, yeah, hope you folks had a good time. Love you folks, peace out.